Okay, so today we're going to be looking at what causes turbo flutter, or as it's properly known, compressor surge. Now to do that, we've got this nice little rig here. Basically what it is, is an electric supercharger. So we have the compressor side of a turbo here, powered by this big electric motor down here. The turbo feeds out, goes to this intercooler, comes up, and then the outlet pipe here has the nice pressurized blown air coming out of it. Now, contrary to popular belief, turbo surge is actually a fully aerodynamic phenomena. It's the compressor blades having flow separation and stall off the back of them, and this is what makes the doo -doo 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 noise, and basically will slow your turbo down. Now, it doesn't stop the shaft speed completely, which is a common misconception, but it does slow it down. Now, let's boot this thing up and have a look at how it sounds like. So you can see the turbo spinning, and that's blowing my hand there. Okay, now let's speed it up a little bit. Okay. So we can see as the pressure gradient gets really high, the turbo stalls. And when it's going faster, it makes that characteristic doo doo doo, -doo noise. So we can see that as I place my hand across here, I increase the pressure gradient across the turbo by blocking the outlet. Now increasing that pressure gradient causes the turbo to stall and make the doo 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 noise. Now it doesn't sound like doo 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 here because we're not slowing down the turbo as it goes so the frequency is not dropping and we're not spinning it quite fast enough to get those really high frequency sounds. Now me blocking my hand over this inlet is the equivalent of you shutting the throttle plate, which is why you always get the noise when you close your throttle plate and you don't have a proper blow-off valve or bypass valve. Once the blades are stalled, they are no longer pressurizing the outlet of the turbo, so the high pressure air wants to flow back through them. This backflow equalizes the pressure difference, allowing the flow to reattach on the blades and once again pressurize the outlet of the turbo, repeating the process. This repeated cycling is what causes the audible pressure waves and it also fatigues bearings and other components. So that's how turbo fodder works. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to check out my other videos and like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, see you next time.